Good morning, Tiffy and Bethy. It seems like I haven't vlogged in an eternity. Today, you're in for a real special treat. And I'm not going to be doing the ordinary venting, like why am I always cleaning up Memphis's poop, or the usual complaining, nobody ever does any dishes until I'm home. No, today is going to be something much more special. And yes, my hair is short. And if you don't like it, then... Pricing items for the yard sale and exercising my voice really gives me an appetite. Ten cents! Wow! Now, if you're like my family, sometimes the bills catch up on you and groceries are a little bit scarce. But for this recipe, you only need at least five ingredients for the whole supper. So what I did right now is I am cooking the brown rice. Then we take some vegetable oil and coat the bottom of the pan. And when you turn it on to a medium-low heat, and as soon as it's heated up, we'll put in about two to three tablespoons of butter. Now before you do all of this, you want to take some boneless, skinless chicken breasts and you want to cut them into about an inch, half inch cubes. And as soon as all your butter's melted, we will take a couple tablespoons of minced garlic. And be car very careful because it's really hot. And you're probably thinking, that's a shitload of garlic, Leslie. Well, my family and I are spear garlic heads, so... The more garlic, the better. Now you see it's starting to brown around the edges, so that means it's perfect for you to stick your chicken in. Now all you need to do is just grab your plate, just kind of dump it in there. Give it a good little stir, and because it's on medium-low heat, it'll just take a little while for this to cook. Just remember to continue stirring and turning your chicken so it doesn't burn and it's evenly cooked on all sides. Now if you want to get a little more fancier, just add a pinch, a big pinch, of coarse kosher salt because I love working with kosher salt. I also had some chopped up parsley that I got from my little herb garden and I also found that chopped up sage tastes really wonderful in this dish but Feel free to throw in whatever you want. It's your variation. And previously I made a ricotta torte with chocolate chunks and almond slivers, but that will be for another day. A helpful little hint, when boiling the water for the brown rice, you can also use the juice from the minced garlic. Just a little bit, you don't want to overpower it, but it gives it a little bit of a zip. And for another quick and easy thing to do, make biscuits normal Pillsbury Grand Rolls and just put a little thumbprint in them and sprinkle in some good cheese. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Always a family favorite. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.